Yesterday we left our campsite near Factory Butte and we went overland through the valley and came around, did a couple more river crossing, and into the upper Cathedral Valley where we saw some amazing geology. Some rocks were just straight up and down. You could stand right at the base and look straight up at them. Hundreds of feet tall. But we went through the upper Cathedral Valley and we started out at the bottom and we came all the way up to the top. Here we are today at the Cathedral Valley Campground in the Camp Capitol Reef National Park. It's a mouthful. Well, you can see some of it behind us. You can also see we're sporting our new Oscar caboose. Finally got it installed after four days on the road. Today we are going to continue on through Capitol Reef National Park and finish up our overlanding trip. We also have another water crossing. This one isn't four inches deep. It's supposedly 14 inches deep. So we will find out if it goes over the floorboards. See, there's a river crossing in there. It's a new one. As we headed south, we realized we didn't have enough information about the river crossing that was coming up. It turns out that we did the Cathedral Valley Loop in a counterclockwise rotation, which is actually the opposite way that most people do this trip. So while we had prepared for BLM land and Cathedral Valley, we missed finding out more about the river crossing. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. While part of the attraction of overlanding is the unknown, we don't recommend this approach when it comes to river crossings. As we went though, the geology didn't disappoint. It continued to be amazing. Capitol Reef National Park is long and skinny. We went in and out of the park and BLM land several times. As you'll hear in a minute when John describes the scenery, he thinks of erosion because it turns out that everything we're looking at is caused by erosion. That's really something. <laughs> it's windy is we're, where we are. We're at the windy <laughs> South Desert Overlook in Capitol Reef National Park. And it's just a gorgeous uh, viewpoint. Just a little quarter mile hike in and get to see all this. The sandstone monoliths and pinnacles we're admiring are here because of erosion. The sandstone was originally deposited millions of years ago as sandy mud on a tidal flat, and over time, all of that has eroded to leave these monuments behind. Geologists tell us that most of the major canyon cutting occurred between one and six million years ago. Water is the primary thing that caused the erosion and continues today with rainfall, flash floods, and snowfall. Interestingly enough, even though it's really windy here, the wind is considered to be a minor part of the erosion process. Around, you see millions of years of exposed layers of earth. And even as inhospitable as the desert is, there are still plants that grow. Only a quarter mile on a hike, but at this altitude, with the sun shining bright on us, we're get, we get thirsty. And we remembered to bring some fluids with us, some iced tea and some fruit punch. So we're good. She's good. Except we have a water crossing. We don't have any information about it, except that it's over a foot deep. And uh, we're not quite sure how wide or muddy or any of that kind of stuff, but the person recommended that we wade it first, make sure we can do it. So we'll see. I think if there's one word to sum up Utah, I would use erosion. It's just everywhere you look.
As we head off to meet the challenge of the unknown river crossing, we go through bentonite hills, see a little bit of animal life, and everywhere you look, there are the remnants of water, the dry washes and the erosion of the hills, and seemingly out of nowhere, we realize we've found the river. Oh, that looks pretty dicey. That's kind of deep. Uh-oh. That might be more than we want to do. Wow, I don't think there's any way around this. There's no way to cross straight across. You have to actually go upstream to get to this side. There's nothing on this side that you can start from. Okay, well, that's what it is. You can see the river is pretty deep. There's big rocks in it. And that little spit down there is the uh, water crossing. I'm upstream now, taking a look down, and there's no place to cross from up here so that we could go down current. You can see more big rocks in there too. I'm trading my hiking boots for my uh, kayaking uh, wire crossing gear, I guess. And there's one of my Overlander socks. Uh, Overlander's the model. We'll see what we're up against. So here we go. Ooh. It's not cold at all. <laughs> And whatever you do, don't stop. I won't. Okay. Okay, this doesn't look too bad so far. You can see it's up halfway up my calves. Cooling off, that's for sure. It's 85 degrees out today. And it's hotter than we've ever had in, in Utah. Thank goodness it's finally warmed up. Okay, just to confirm, we are in four wheel and the lockers are locked. Just don't slow down. Should we go back and do it again? <laughs> <laughs> you have pictures of serious water. I'm man. sure. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was up over the license plate and pushing <laughs> it in the front and stuff. Was so it really? That was pretty exciting. Ooh, we'll yeah. have to watch it on video. Well, that's definitely the deepest we've ever done. So Indeed. Uh, didn't make it over the floorboards. Oh yes, I see they're wet. Oh, the rock okay. wheels did get wet. Let's go look. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Woo. I was never worried, really. I knew that she could handle it. Yeah, I, I knew she could handle it just fine. So never, never, never a worry at all. Wow, those really get around. After making the crossing of the Fremont River, we hit the pavement again and head back on the highway toward the visitor center of Capitol Reef National Park, where one of the sites you should check out are the petroglyphs created by the ancient Fremont peoples who farmed the canyons and the Fremont River. After a quick stop at the visitor center and a chance to enjoy more amazing scenery, we wrapped up the overlanding portion of our trip and headed into Torrey. We hope you enjoyed traveling overland with us through Utah and that you'll subscribe to come along with us on more overlanding and rock hounding adventures. Thanks for watching. <laughs>